I'm going to show you how to make your Football Manager game go from this to this. We do this by adding a logo pack to the game, which of course adds logos to teams, cups and competitions in the game in Football Manager, which adds a little bit more immersion to your save files. Also makes it a bit easier at a glance to see what team it is if you recognise their badge. So step one is to find a logo pack that you really like the look of. If you just Google FM23 logo pack, tons of them come up as you can see. So all it is is a case of looking through a few of them and seeing what you like the look of. For me personally, I like the look of just standard clean logos, so I always use the FM standard logos mega pack from sort out si all the logos are as they are in real life there's no special effects added to them or anything like that some websites might want you to make an account before you can download any files from them once you've done that you just click download complete pack and it starts downloading as you can see now this particular logo pack is quite big it's five and a half gigabytes which is quite a hefty download now i'm going to let you into a big secret here about these logo packs um it's the exact same as fm22 and fm21 and FM20 with just the odd logo change in there if a team updates them. So if you don't want to download five and a half gigabytes worth of data, maybe you've got some download speed issues or you've got data caps or you haven't got the time to wait for the downloads, if you downloaded them in previous years for previous little managers, you can just cut and paste from old folders into the new FM23 folders and they'll be all there for you. So moving on to step two, once a file has been downloaded in your browser, you're gonna be able to find it in your downloads folder of your file browser. As you can see, mine is right here. You'll also notice the folder looks a little bit strange. There are thousands of images across hundreds of folders in this download. And normally you'd have to download each folder individually. However, these files are zipped up together to be downloaded in one folder file so you don't have to actually download all the files individually but in order to actually use these files we need to extract them and to do that you're gonna need a third-party tool I personally use WinRAR I've never had an issue with it and it's a really good tool to use once you've got WinRAR installed what you have to do is right click on the folder and press extract here and then it will just start extracting all of those files because there are thousands in there of course it's a five and a half gigabyte download it might take a little bit of time so I'll come back when this is finished moving on to step three we need to move these files to the correct location so on the left hand side of the screen we've got our downloads folder and on the right side we have our documents. Now I've got everything saved in the default locations when Football Manager installs. It could be slightly different for you depending if you save your games onto different drives. But for me I go to my documents, I go to Sports Interactive, I go to Football Manager 2023 and then I get presented with this file structure. We need to move these documents into a file called graphics and as you can see that's not there. So we have to make a new folder called graphics and then put it in that folder. Then we can just control X to cut it and control V to paste it. And there we go, they're in there. So for step four, what we need to do is head into Football Manager. Here you can see I'm in the homepage of Football Manager. Our most recent save file is an Arsenal save file and you can see there are no logos in there. That's just the default Arsenal logo in the game. The actual logo isn't there. We need to make sure the game is looking in the right place for all of these graphics. So what we're gonna do is go down to preferences here and click on it. The first thing to do is go over to the advanced tab here and go down to the interface section here of the preferences. Then we're gonna scroll halfway down the page or so and you can see this box here that says skin. What we need to do is tick this one that says reload skin when confirming changes in preferences. And then right at the bottom of the screen, you'll see this reload skin button has appeared. The next thing to do is click on this reset drop down menu and click clear cache. And if this pop-up menu comes up, just click yes. And then because we've ticked the reload skin when confirming changes in preferences button, we can just press confirm and the skin is changing. Final thing to do though is check that you are subscribed to the Tom FM channel. Make sure you check it. And if you're not, subscribe to the channel. By the time you have subscribed to the channel, the skin has been reloaded. And in game, as you can see, Arsenal's logo is proudly there in the most recent save file option. And you can see on the kits in the background, the logo's all also on the kits. And that's it. It's really simple to add the logos in to the game. But of course, there are other things you can add in Football Manager. Do you want your players to go from looking like this to looking like this? Well, I've got a video for you. Check it out right here.